you recording. Hi guys, and welcome back to Cold Bannacle. It is quite chilly today, guys. Um, got me big coat on, hoodie on, woolly hat. Still cold, unbelievably. The other night, they were forecasting snow. Think a few parts of Spain's got snow. Anyway, gonna start off. I've got the prime orange fake today, guys. Just gonna give that a quick try before we had the filming. Gorgeous guys, flavours amazing on this. Okay, let's get on with the video then. So yeah, I've got the prime hydration drinks. Done a review of them this morning, I just need to maybe not take a picture of all the flavours I've got when I get home for like a thumbnail or something. But um, I'm quite surprised to be honest. Like, I've heard a lot of people say more well, they're not the best at the shite. But eh, they were actually quite nice. And to be fair, I think it's the same with the fakes. Right, when I saw that my um, associate had bought me a few of the pine fakes over, like, I weren't expecting them to be anything special, to be honest. So, I was just sort of thinking, well, like, they made after the drink, obviously, that like, they make with the drink in mind. So, they can't be out too special, can they? But, they're amazing, I mean. To be fair, I'll go as far as saying the vapes are actually better than the drinks themselves. Like, they are gorgeous. Anyway, uh, enough said about that. We views coming soon, I believe. Maybe tomorrow. So stay tuned. It is cold today, though, guys. Oh, we finally got that cold weather again. Hard to believe though, a few days ago, we were seeing like 27 degrees, 30 degrees. Me and Mike were like, down to front shirt off, enjoying the sunshine, glorious weather. I just sat on the bench, on the fantasy front can of pop enjoying the sun and now here we are like coats, woolly hats facing our blooming bollocks off <sighs> before I forget guys huge shout out goes out to my new friend Leo, or Leon, met you in 12 man last night, pleasure meeting you mate, always glad to meet a fan, the um, Peruvian boss back open there.
great little bar tap, guys. Anyway, um, always a pleasure meeting a fan. Thanks to everyone who wish Mike a happy birthday. Um, don't expect to see him any time soon today. Yeah, as Sue says, hope he suffers. We went out for a nice meal in Royal Palace in the restaurant down on the British Strip opposite Hotel Marina. Now, yeah, it was a bit expensive, I mean, we paid 70 some euro. Look, yeah, we had a few drinks, I mean, so I had two Maria and Coke, which came to 8 euro, but I mean, I enjoyed it. I really did. I mean, we were all dressed up. We all looked smart. Great meal, I mean. We were worrying that it would be a bit rubbish because uh, it was quiet in there, guys. But, I mean, brilliant meal. Absolutely top quality. Afterwards, we went along down to the last stop in hope of meeting Jamie. But, of course... Typical Jamie, he went there. So, um, we headed up to the 12th man, Rob Salt Bar. Um, change hands now, but still a great bar. Watch the Newcastle match. Had a few bevies in there. Headed to Morgan's, and I mean, Morgan's were even like you couldn't move in there. We were stood up at the bar and you still had people like pushing up against you, shoving you about. Couldn't hear a thing in there, to be honest. So, me and Mum sort of said to the lads, all so like, we, we're going home for tonight, like, we've had enough. And that way we about 10 o'clock. That, yeah. About 11 o'clock. Dad, however, decides, screw it, it's my birthday, I'll stay out. So, as the Geordie lads were saying, well, we're going Gabby's bar and we're heading off, I thought that's what he'd do. Point in Gabby's bar, say goodnight, come home. No, he ends up in Cafe Benidorm. Then Cafe Benidorm shuts. So he ends up in the Hippodrome talking to a bunch of randomers. One of them apparently American does all the bike races and just getting hammered. Now you'll think after that maybe it'd be coming home at like after a few points come home at about two o'clock maybe even four at the latest. No, he decides he's gonna spend the whole night in there. Now I don't really know that time Hippodrome shut but I mean it must have been late when he, well, it must have been sort of pretty early coming on at opening times for bars when he got up by us. Because he decides, you know what, Spanish bar dares open. Booker, my family, we're going to say a bad word there, but... Um, Joanna will hunt me down and slap me legs. Anyway, he says, sod me family, I'll go have breakfast at the Spanish bar. 
auto setting fluent Spanish apparently only with a bit of pointing now what time we got on guys 20 past 8 in the morning pissed out of his head singing rabbling away about his new friend so probably just felt sorry for the poor old sod yeah, making a hell of a lot of noise as well. Anyway, end the video showing you Primova Park. Primavera, Primova, however you want to pronounce it. Great place, guys. Hit the like, hit subscribe. Stay tuned as well for more brilliant videos. Love you all. See you in the next one.